Hello, and a belated Happy New Year. I'm going to be talking about I Fell From Grace. It's a game I got off to a bit of a slow start with, because I spent some time thinking the game menu was bugged because I couldn't select a new game with Return or Space. I did eventually figure out I needed to press E, but decided to play with a controller, which worked fine. I personally would have liked the option to use a joystick rather than buttons for movement, but that's a minor point. Um, the game was developed and published by Deep Tiger, I hope I'm saying that right, and uh, it was released in December 2017. It's a less than cheerful side-scrolling point-and-click adventure game, and it starts with the protagonist Henry waking up on the sofa, and we quickly learn that he's supporting his terminally ill wife Grace by working at a medical research facility of vague description. Uh, homework and a downtown area make up the game's three playable zones, which I explored extensively, running back and forth to complete the various tasks. The puzzles were challenging at times, which I like, but sometimes this was just because of a lack of instruction and it resulted in mindless button bashing, trying to use or combine items. They were also a bit convoluted at times, with the puzzle lines reaching a bit too far from the initial objective, making it difficult to keep track of tasks and distracting me from the narrative. Um, the game was visually very pleasing, however, and it features some really lovely pixel art with a good level of detail, made it one of my favourite aspects of I Fell From Grace. Each area has its own distinct aesthetic, whilst successfully maintaining its relationship with the rest of the game through a well-defined colour palette, consisting largely of greys, purples and other slightly muted tones. The soundtrack fits well with the style and tone of the game as well, especially in the downtown area, which had an almost film noir feel to it. I did find that some of the music got a bit repetitive, but I also had an especially long playthrough, thanks in part to my inability to think logically at 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, the game follows a dark narrative. Uh, I found myself questioning the morals of my character, as he had an affair, stole from an old lady, and generally acted narcissistically throughout. I only one managed one playthrough in my almost 20 hours of game time, which is I think twice the suggested time needed, and I know that there are different story arcs and endings to be discovered. Uh, also understand these to be equally bleak experiences for the most part. Um, the game explores some mature themes such as death, sex, drugs, amongst others, and the language felt kind of gratuitous on occasion, but I, I did still enjoy the sinister nature of the storyline. I fell from Grace's USP is found in the fact that all of the dialogue, except for small snippets in a dream state, is written in rhyme, which I love the sound of, uh, I thought it was a really interesting concept, and I was pleasantly surprised to see there was a reason behind it, that it was actually part of the plot. However, the execution could have been better, uh, the meter was often off, and superfluous information and inverted sentences made some of the rhymes feel forced. I'm sure the sheer quantity of rhymes that needed to be written played a part in that, but unfortunately it also hindered the characterisation. Henry's the only character that's given any real personality, and his superficial and selfish traits quickly become apparent. But I would have liked to see different structures or rhyme schemes for the different characters' speech, because most of the dialogue was delivered in couplets with single-syllable AA rhyme scheme, which detracted from any sense of distinct voices. Uh, whilst I enjoyed some of the rhymes, I, I do wonder if it really added to the game, or if I'd have preferred the game with straightforward prose. Um, while I definitely think there are elements of I Fell From Grace that could have been done differently or better, I did still enjoy the experience overall. It, it has an interesting story, challenging, challenging puzzles, uh, it looks great. It's available on Steam for ten ninety nine. Has 46 achievements, which are unlocked by making different choices, taking different routes through the game, discovering new plot twists and endings, which adds a heap of replayability, making it pretty good value for money. I'd cautiously recommend it to fans of the point-and-click genre, with the caveat that the format of the dialogue might not be to everyone's tastes. So, bear that in mind. Thank you for watching.